Hello, my name is Judith Estrada Garcia, and I will be presenting Project Gouache, Reproduction of Diego Rivera's Art. This painting by Diego Rivera called The Flower Vendor, or La Florida Descansando, it's an oil painting of a young Mexican brown-skinned woman kneeling down, preparing to carry a very large basket of white and yellow lyric leaves to market. It is currently in the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art in San Francisco. Diego Rivera was born in 1886 in the city of Guanajuato, Mexico. His parents were both teachers. His mother was a devoted Catholic mestiza, which means part European and part Indian. And his father was a liberal criollo, Mexican of European descent. Picture of Diego Rivera on the left of the screen shows Rivera in his later years at about the age of 65. His hair is cut short, dark colored and wavy textured with a small gray patch of hair above his right ear. His mouth is shaped downward. His eyes are looking upward. His facial expression shows Rivera deep in thought. The background is of Diego Rivera standing next to the mosaic relief of Tla Loc at Lerma Waterworks in California in 1951. Diego Rivera's art career. In 1891, at the age of five, Rivera attended art school in Mexico. In 1896, at the age of 10, Rivera attended the San Carlos Academy of Fine Arts in Mexico and was educated in the traditional European techniques. In 1907, at the age of 21, Rivera was awarded a travel grant to study art in Europe. From 1907 until 1922, Rivera studied in Europe and befriended Picasso and Cezanne. He began painting in the Cubism style. From 1923 until his death in 1957, Rivera traveled the world painting giant murals in San Francisco, Detroit, New York, and of course, Mexico. Now let's get started. The materials you will need are transparency paper or method of transferring selected image onto watercolor paper. Watercolor paper, any size over eight by 11 inches, a pencil, one of Diego Rivera's artwork images. They're located at the end of this presentation glue gun and glue stick this is optional you do not have to purchase these items you can basically use what is left over by the pencil markings of the transfer watercolor paint brushes make sure you get soft bristle brushes a palette a rigid flat surface on which to arrange and mix your paint you can use a kitchen dish acrylic wash paint blue yellow red and white now that you've selected an image, now it's time to create a duplicate image onto your watercolor paper. You can follow the link below to teach you how to transfer the image onto the watercolor paper. If you're going to use the glue gun to trace a copy of image on the watercolor paper, the results will leave a raised outline of the image but make sure to wait five minutes for the image to dry. This, of course, is an optional method. You don't have to do this. You can just rely on the pencil markings left behind on the watercolor to paint. Now let's take a look at the materials and type of paint that you'll be using. Use a clean white palette for paint. Squeeze out a small amount, about a dime size, of acrylic wash paint onto your palette. Use the primary colors of blue, red, yellow, and add some white. Mix and blend any of the primary colors and the white color to make your own color combinations. Dilute the paint with water. Also, use small watercolor brushes with soft bristles. It's important to use two clean water containers, one for cleaning the brush and one for mixing. Have fun with this project. Begin coloring your image. Create your own colors. 
Acrylic gouache colors are used like watercolors and blend easily with water. Gouache has a compound that causes the paint to dry with a matte finish. The result will be a rich, deep, and colorful image. One of the selections of your images is image number one. Rivera painted this image using gouache, and the title is Man and Boy, Spanish translation, Hombre y Niño. The image displays a Mexican man with a large brown hat, white clothing, and black belt, sitting down with only the right side of his body facing the viewer. There's also a young boy standing and facing the man dressed in a white shirt, dark brown hat, and drinking from a brown colored vessel. They are depicted outside in a light green field. The second image is La Molendria. In English translation, The Grinder, the image displays a young Mexican woman wearing a short sleeve white dress with long black braided hair, kneeling and bending over a flat black stone kneading dough with a rolling pin. The painting was originally painted in gouache paint on paper. The third image is La Vendadora de Pinole, the seller of Pinole. The image displays a middle-aged Mexican woman wearing a short sleeve black dress with a white hem, sitting on the ground with right knee bent up with her right elbow leaning on the knee. Her black hair neatly combed back and the expression on her face shows contemplation or worry. Her right foot is revealed from under her dress and next to her foot lays a mid-sized flat bowl with a large amount of cornmeal called pinole, which is a roasted ground maize used to create different foods. 
The final image, image number four, is Albañel, stone mason. The image displays a Mexican man dressed in a white long sleeve shirt, white pants, and wearing a yellow hat covering his face. The man is bent forward in the process of breaking stones with a large mallet, and he holds tightly with both his hands, originally painted with gouache paint on paper. Thank you to our ArtSpark Texas funders, Texas Commission on the Arts, National Endowment for the Arts Creative Forces, St. David's Foundation, Cultural Arts, City of Austin Economic Development, and Reeve Foundation Quality of Life Program.